Lewis, founder of Gelato. What is Gelato? So uh, Gelato uh, is uh, a decentralized network of nodes that can be used by um, Web3 application developers to fulfill certain functions such as smart contract automation, uh, gasless transaction relaying, count abstraction, and uh, as of recently also complete serverless development in Web3. So, so yeah, that's it. It's pretty technical. Most of our users are like project developers, uh, you know, instant app, make it out and the likes. Uh, but but yeah, it's a it's a cool product. Cool. So basically, the engine of DeFi under the hood, helping them power everything. Exactly. Yes. So we always say that a smart contract is a bit of a misnomer because they're actually not that smart. They can't really do that much by themselves. Um, that's because they live on a blockchain, and a block is very confined, right? Like a, a program cannot run persistently like it can on a Web two server. It has to be it has to fit into a block and stop when the block is done. Basically, that's the gas limit. So, so you're very constrained by that, and Gelato sort of removes these constraints by connecting your smart contracts to a off-chain layer that can do, that can fetch data for you, that can uh, pull smart contract triggers for you, like react to conditions. So, so yeah, a famous example, for example, is uh, limit orders on an AMM, on an automated market maker like Uniswap. They don't work natively, like they would on an order book exchange like Coinbase. Uh, so there, for example, Pancake Swap, Quick Swap, Spooky Swap, they're all using Gelato to enable their smart contracts to work with limit orders for users. So that now you can go on Pancake Swap and you can say, hey, I want to buy this token when the price is here or I want to sell this token when the price is here. This is using Gelato under the hood. You are doing account abstraction in partnership with SAFE, the team from Gnosis, for the new layer 2 named Base launched by Conbase. So tell us a bit what account abstraction is. Is it felt at the user level? What does it mean to have my account abstracted, for example? And what are you doing specifically with Conbase? Yeah, so there's a lot to unpack here. Right. Uh, so, so maybe let's start with account abstraction. Um, so really in Web3 nowadays, um, most users and, and all of us here uh, are using wallets like Metamask. And what Metamask is, is it is a, a cryptographic private key and uh, that key accesses your corresponding account on Ethereum. So basically we have mixed the, the account where your assets are with your key. And that's problematic because that means if you lose your key, if you forget your key, if your key gets stolen, your assets are also gone, right? Now account abstraction is really this decoupling. So saying, look, your account, like your assets, everything you do on chain is in a smart contract. So in a program, which is super cool because all of programmability is now available to your account. You can automate it or whatever. Uh, and your keys are separate and you can sort of add keys, remove keys from your account, uh, remove and add access. And now this is amazing because you can have three keys that are allowed to access your account, a so-called multisig. And now you can remove one of them if it got hacked or if you lost it or something and you can add a new one, right? So that's really the, the beauty of account abstraction. It's this, basically this decoupling of your Ethereum assets and smart contract interactions from your private keys so that they're not married with each other anymore and you can sort of update the private keys and so on. Okay, let's talk about smart contract automation. How do you automate this smart contract, right? What's the benefit? Yeah, so smart contract automation is the sort of staple of Gelato. It's what we started with in 2019. Uh, and uh, really, um, smart contract automation is super cool and useful for developers because blockchains themselves and smart contract applications themselves are not prone or like are not easily automated at all. Like in fact, really, um, they cannot be automated in the sense of something continuously running, monitoring the system, and then executing functions on condition based on conditions. It's not possible because in the blockchain, when a program executes, when a smart contract executes, it has to fit inside a transaction limit and it has to fit inside a block limit. So by definition of a blockchain, a program, unlike like a Web2 web server program, cannot run infinitely. And in Web2, when you get started, the first thing you usually build is like a HTTP server or something, and that's literally an infinite loop. So this is not possible on a blockchain, right? So, so we realized that pretty early on, as we wanted to do very simple automation tasks, like automatically withdrawing from, withdrawing from an auction, automatically harvesting yield, or any of these sort of protocol upkeep mechanisms. Uh, and, and that's how we invented Gelato. So we basically said, okay, let's, let's give Web3 developers, uh, like smart contract developers, a reliable decentralized network of servers that they can use. 
that performs these tasks for them, but uh, that uh, is still decentralized, that doesn't require them to give up custody of our assets or keys or their users. Like all of this is, uh, all of these web three benefits are retained while still giving you access to a nice, reliable server network that can do these automation tasks for you. Basically. How many people, companies, individual users are using these services you provide to make the apps more powerful, more decentralized? Yeah. So I would classify our user base into there's the developers. Um, I mean, really, all of our users are developers integrating our technologies, but there are these applications um, that need uh, automation for the protocol upkeep. So these are developers that are re leveraging Gelato to perform certain sort of housekeeping tasks in their protocol, like calling certain functions a couple of day times a day, posting data to the smart contract system, sort of like these protocol upkeep tasks. And then there's these developers, these applications, like for example, PancakeSwap or QuickSwap, that leverage Gelato to build new features for their end user base. So for example, the most famous example are limit orders on PancakeSwap or QuickSwap. Or so they are the user base, it's vast. There have been uh, in the hundreds of thousands of users using this. Uh, and in terms of um, like our direct users, the developer projects using us across Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, um, BNB, Phantom, um, there's well over uh, 200 or 300 projects using Gelato already. Uh, from the very big names, you know, of the Insta Devs, uh, the MakerDAOs, um, the, the pancake swaps, the Optimisms themselves, to like some random one-man projects that we met at a hackathon. So it's, it's really useful for everybody. What's your vision for Gelato? Maybe the ecosystem as a whole. People maybe might be scared during these times. Black Swan after Black Swan after Black Swan. We've had. So how do you see the future for the ecosystem for Gelato? All we focus on is. Uh, reliability and decentralization. Sometimes you can't work on this every day because you also have to make sure that your thing is usable, uh, that it's nicely designed and so on. You, you might have to make some trade-offs early on to ship it fast to users. But our sort of vision every day is to have 100% uptime that, so that any application building on top of Gelato can do so knowing that we will never go down the, the network and they can also do so that even in five years, it will still run. Even if we as a company disappear from the face of the earth, the system should still work. And that's why we're onboarding and have been onboarding node operators, third parties to the network, running Gelato nodes. And soon uh, they, they will uh, stake gel, the network token, to get access to the network. And we're building these incentives, these crypto economic incentives around the network, so that hopefully by the year of 2025, we are really an open, permissionless, decentralized network that anybody can join to run these nodes. Uh, and, and that's the long-term goal. Where can people go if they want to find out more about Gelato? Uh, so, uh, first place to go is our Twitter, I would say, or our website, gelato.network. Uh, Twitter is gel at Gelato Network. Uh, and then just hop into our Discord if you want some uh, developer support, for example, or our Telegram community chat. Uh, so, so yeah, that's where, where to go. Awesome. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, guys.